the pocket watch of parallel realities. In a town nestled between the meeting points of two rivers, there was a peculiar antique shop, renowned for its collection of strange and unexplainable items. Shelves were laden with trinkets from ages gone by, each holding a secret or a tale of its own. But the most enigmatic of all was a pocket watch, glistening with a silvery sheen, untouched by time. One day, a young woman named Clara wandered into the shop, seeking a gift for her grandfather. Her eyes were immediately drawn to the pocket watch. The shopkeeper, an old man with weathered skin and wise eyes, noticed her interest. This is no ordinary watch, he began, his voice raspy. It has the power to show you realities other than our own. Clara, intrigued, took a closer look. The watch's face had not just one set of hands, but multiple, each ticking at its rhythm. How does it work? she asked. The shopkeeper handed her a small key. Wind it thrice, and focus on the reality you wish to see. But beware, for the journey can be overwhelming. Without giving it much thought, Clara wound the watch and suddenly found herself in a world startlingly different from her own. The town she knew was more vibrant with advanced technologies and flying vehicles. She saw herself, but not as she was. This version of Clara was a renowned scientist known for her breakthroughs in renewable energy. Amazed, Clara rewound the watch. This time, she landed in a reality where the world was in ruins. Cities had crumbled, and the air was thick with smog. Here, she was a rebel group leader, fighting against an oppressive regime. Journey after journey, Clara explored various realities, showcasing a different facet of herself, some she admired, others she wished to change. In one, she was a musician, in another, a teacher, and in yet another, a wanderer with no ties to any place. Hours felt like minutes and soon the shop darkened as evening approached. Clara, realizing she had been lost in the watch for too long, decided to return to her reality. But as she attempted to wind the watch one final time, she found herself unable to focus. The multiple realities she had experienced began to merge, creating a whirlwind of emotions and memories. Suddenly, the shopkeeper's hand was on hers, gently taking the watch away. It's easy to get lost, he said, his voice full of understanding. But remember, while it's tempting to live in a world of what-ifs, the reality you're in now is the one that matters most. Clara nodded, taking a deep breath to steady herself. She bought the watch, not to escape her reality, but as a reminder of the infinite possibilities within her. She realized that while she couldn't change the past or predict the future, she had the power to shape her present. As she left the shop, the pocket watch safely tucked away, she felt a newfound appreciation for her world and the role she played in it. She knew that each choice she made, every path she took, created ripples that defined not just her reality, but countless others. And so, with the watch as her guide, Clara embarked on a journey, not through parallel realities, but through the vast landscape of her own potential, seeking to create a world where every version of herself could be proud. Footprints on the Edge of Twilight in a land where day and night weren't determined by the sun's position but by the realm's essence, a narrow strip of territory was known to locals as the Twilight Zone. This wasn't a place of eerie tales or odd occurrences, but a literal representation, a place where daylight and darkness coexisted, casting hues of gold and purple, creating a perpetual state of dusk and dawn. 
Many had tried to cross this mesmerizing territory for centuries, but none had ever returned. Legends spoke of the zone holding secrets beyond comprehension, but these tales were often dismissed as mere folklore. However, the footprints that appeared every morning on the edge were real, undeniable proof of someone or something venturing into the twilight. Arya, an ambitious explorer, had grown up listening to the legends and was determined to uncover the truth. Equipped with a lantern with a flame neither bright like day nor dim like night, but a mixture of both, she began her journey. As she ventured further into the zone, the surroundings became surreal. Flora and fauna of radiant colors surrounded her, bioluminescent creatures darted around, and the sky was an artwork of swirling golden and lavender clouds. The footprints guided her, fading and reappearing, as if urging her to move forward. The deeper she went, the more she felt time distort. Moments felt like hours, and hours felt like mere moments. It was disorienting, but the beauty around her kept her going. She found streams with shimmering waters and trees with leaves that glowed. It was an enchanting world, frozen in a timeless embrace. Eventually, Arya reached the heart of the twilight zone, where she found an old, majestic tree, its trunk wide and roots sprawling. At its base was a shimmering portal, reflecting the mixed hues of the twilight. The footprints led straight into it. Gathering her courage, Arya stepped through. Instead of finding another realm or dimension, she was met with memories, not just hers, but centuries of them, from every individual who had ever ventured into the twilight zone. She saw their journeys, their hopes, and their fears. She witnessed their moments of joy and despair, their dreams and heartbreaks. It was overwhelming, a tidal wave of emotions and experiences. But as she waded through the memories, a realization dawned upon her. The twilight zone, with newfound understanding, Arya decided to leave her own memory a message for future explorers. She visualized her journey, her discovery, and her profound connection with every soul who had ventured into the twilight. Exiting the portal, she felt an inexplicable bond with the zone. She retraced her steps, leaving a fresh set of footprints for others to follow. Years passed, and Arya's tale became legendary. Many ventured into the twilight zone, leaving their footprints and memories. And while the mysteries of the twilight were no longer shrouded in complete secrecy, the allure of the zone remained, reminding every visitor of the timeless dance between light and darkness, day and night, and the memories that bind us all.